What's up, Aquarius? It's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. Happy birthday, my loves. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a beautiful birthday yeah. season. All right, let's jump into your February 2020 general and or love forecast. See what the cards have to say. Spirit Guides, Universe, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors, this reading is for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Before we get started, real quick, I gotta plug the store. Thank you, by the way, to everybody who has made purchases and have me do readings and spells through the Etsy shop. I really appreciate it. I forgot to grab something. Let me grab it over here. I gotta show you guys what I just made. It's not even listed yet. It'll be up by the time you guys see this, but look at this. This is a beauty oil, and oh my gosh. Okay, so it's, it's dual purpose. First of all, you can use it for spell work if you're doing like beauty spells which is obviously great for like valentine's day time right and we're heading towards spring everybody wants to look good um but you can also use this on your face girl like this is and it's a body oil too like you can do whatever it comes in three sizes it's got uh, it's got a base of sweet almond oil it's got rosehip oil um argan oil uh tamanu oil sandalwood and organic frankincense it is so amazing i've been using it every single day inside the bottle is rose hips and rose quartz. I'm giving you guys all the ingredients because um, it's a it's a beauty product as well. So anyway, go check it out if you want to. It's awesome stuff. I love it. Hey, we're actually coming out with an entire beauty spell line of products. So really, really cool. And then every order this month of products, not of services or spells or, or readings, but things that are being mailed to you, you get a free sample of my newest, latest, and greatest. This is called um, Cupid's Poison. All right, so it's a love drawing oil. It's got um, honey in it. It's got it's actually got pheromones in it. So actual like pheromones that would attract either a new lover or make your current lover, you know, spiced up. I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's get on with it. All right. So if you're new to my channel, Aquarius, and you don't know how I do my readings, I do a nine card spread. It's gonna be three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do a bottom of the deck overview, and I will be doing an extended reading for you on Vimeo. Link for that will also be down below. All right, so Aquarius, Aquarius, what's Aquarius? Need to know for the month of February 2020, Aquarius, Aquarius. Reset pass for Aquarius, please. Three cards. Oh, chariot, the Hierophant. Some of you guys got a new job. Some of you guys are moving um, for a committed relationship or a marriage. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. But then you get the Six of Wands reversed. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Present energy for Aquarius. Present energy for Aquarius. High Priestess reversed. Pisces, Virgo. You got a lot of majors, guys. A lot. Wow, a lot. Emperor reverse, hermit reverse, high priestess reverse. Shh, hush your mouth. That's crazy. All right, near future for Aquarius. Near future for Aquarius. The world. Bam. Okay, first of all, that's another major arcana. Out of the seven cards on the table, six are major arcanas right now. The world is amazing. It's the most positive card in the deck. All right, that's your near future. The seven of wands reversed. Okay, and then also have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Again, that Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. On the table right now, Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, uh, sometimes Cancer with that one too, Virgo, Aries. Um, yeah, okay, we got a lot of people here. And Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn down here. All right, bottom of the deck, we do have the Page of Cups. That is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is somebody either making an offer of love to you or you to them. It can also be an apology. A lot of times I see the Page of Cups come up when it's somebody that is either apologizing to another person or that um, is receiving an apology. Okay, so let's talk about it. Recent past, you know, the chariot, again, can be a few different things. It's forward positive movement when I see it in the upright. Now, some of you, it means just some, something as simple as travel or buying a new car, okay, or a vehicle vessel of some sort. Others of you, it is like moving forward figuratively into a committed relationship, okay? Um, or you could have been trying to move forward figuratively into a committed relationship, but the Six of Wands reversed, um, it means that there was a lack or loss of victory, okay? So that's a card of winning, it's a card of victory. When I see it reversed like that, it's like maybe you were thinking that something was gonna go somewhere, either this job that you had with the Hierophant or this commitment that you had in your relationship, but it didn't go according to plan, okay? Now, 
Now, um, and I'll clarify all this too. In the present, the high priestess reverse, she's the keeper of secrets, you guys. So when she's reversed like that, I usually see like something was revealed to you, okay? Or you revealed something to someone else. She's, she's got, it's like a secret coming out, okay? A secret coming to light. The other thing that she is though is very, very intuitive, highly intuitive, and when she's reversed like that, sometimes that means you didn't follow your intuition, all right? Hard lesson to learn, Aquarius, but it's a very important one. Your intuition is your strongest asset that will get you through your life. Don't ever ignore that gut feeling because you do, and guess what happens? Crazy shit, right? The Hermit reversed. Virgo energy right in the middle of your reading, but it also could mean something or someone came out of the woodwork, came out of nowhere. The Hermit hides in the Hermit cave, and when he's reversed like that, it means something kind of like crawled out of a cave and just appeared, you know, in your life. Um, Emperor Reverse, and I hate the Emperor Reverse. I just, he's one of my least favorite cards in the deck. You have Leo at the bottom too, damn. Um, Emperor Reverse is somebody who's controlling, mean, narcissistic, out of control, or who is not, when you have an Emperor Upright, it's like somebody who's standing up for you, somebody who's supporting you, somebody who's being, you know, protecting you, that type of thing. And when he's reversed like that, it's the opposite, okay? So it's somebody who's just a total, jerk now it almost looks to me like you were headed into like there's could be one of two things emperor can also be a boss so one of two things you were headed into this new relationship and things were going great okay maybe they came across as a page of cups like super sweet super nice super cute whatever you know very kind and empathetic and for some of you the secret came out or was revealed to you that this person is actually a major narcissist you know uh, with the emperor reverse and that can be in love or in work all right in any situation in your life now going forward into the near future we've got the world card which is awesome the world indicates uh, completions of cycles okay and it's a very important card um for you to have in your near future because it's a very positive energy so whatever the case may be here aquarius whether this is your job your work your parents, a friendship, it doesn't really matter. Whatever the case may be here, this cycle of this emperor reversed energy, okay, that kind of came out of nowhere and just like smacked you in the face and you probably are going, I should have followed my gut on this. That means that um, that's coming to an end, all right? You're not gonna have to deal with this any any longer, all right? Seven of Wands reversed, again, you could have felt like you were, you were under attack. See this guy? Like they're trying to, be, it's like an angry mob. They're trying to beat him down. He's like, get the heck away from me. See, when we see it like this, it's like you're no longer gonna be under attack or you're no, gonna, you're no longer gonna have to defend yourself against someone or something, okay? I know for a lot of you this is gonna be job. It just, these are the way companies go nowadays, guys. It's really sad and it's really shitty, but there, there are people, I should do like a whole video on this. There are so many people in like power, positions of power in these big companies and big corporations, even little ones, you know, that get this whole like God complex because they are in power and they feel like they can treat you like you're, you're dirt, okay? And that's what's gonna have happened here for a lot of you. Now, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Again, that earth, that earth sign energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. She is though, when she's in the upright, she's stability. She's a wife, she's a mother. Okay, sometimes with her being reversed, she's divorced. So some of you have divorced this narcissist. Others of you may have had to leave a job or complete a cycle here in a work situation because, uh, and that may have caused your financial stability to be a bit shaken up, okay? Doesn't mean that it's like over, there's a tower or anything like that. It just means that, you know, you might be feeling a little bit unsteady at the moment. All right, let's um, put some clarifiers. The chariot, please, in Aquarius's recent past. The Six of Cups reversed. Okay, somebody again who came across, you could have known this person for a long time. They were maybe a soulmate to you, maybe a sibling, um, but somebody who may have come across as someone who is very kind, caring, giving, empathetic. You can see this guy, this little kid's like a kid, but you know, he's like giving her his flowers. He's gonna take her to his home and they're gonna live happily ever after. And when this is reversed like this, it's like, whoa, whoa, there's no happily ever after involved in this situation, you know? The Hierophant. Temperance reversed, Sagittarius energy, another major arcana. I am shook, okay? Um, temperance reversed could mean that you lost your patience or lost your temper with someone or someone lost their patience or temper with you. It could also be that you were dealing with a Sagittarius um, that was not going great. It could also be that um, you uh, have not healed fully from this situation, okay? Because she's about healing as well. Okay, Six of Wands. Let's see, reversed, the full reversed. Aries energy again, um, a lot of Aries here, guys. Um, Aries energy again, but 
Somebody may have been acting or behaving very foolishly with you. I see that a lot with him or very immaturely. Um, it also could be that you were just about to take this leap of faith on something or someone. Like you were just about to like dive in head first and you pulled the trigger or pulled the plug on it because you, you know, realized like, oh my gosh, this person's not who I thought they were. High Priestess reversed for Aquarius, the Knight of Cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Again, someone could be coming to you to deliver information. It almost feels like that. They could have the initials B, J, T, O, R, or A. Okay, you may have heard something from someone. You could be dealing romantically with someone like that or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, something like that. But I feel like, um, I almost feel like it, it, it just, it's like I can hear the song by Cyndi Lauper. I think it's Cyndi Lauper, True Colors, shining through, you know? Like, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I feel like you didn't see this person for who they were originally, and now you do, and you're like, what the f <laughs> Like, it was a big shock, right? Hermit, Hermit Reverse. What is this Hermit Reverse about? Ace of Swords Reverse, and to, to boot, not only are they an asshole, not only are they mean, there goes my monetization, um, they're a liar too, okay? Because the Ace of Swords Reverse, it, it, that could be somebody being dishonest, lying, okay? But that can also be you not communicating, like you could be blocked communication wise, right? Or you could be keeping a secret or trying to keep this a secret from other people. Like maybe things are just crumbling around you and you're like, everything's fine, <laughs> you know? And it's actually really not, okay? Emperor reversed. Sorry, Aquarius, I'm sorry this wasn't a better reading. There's your tower, of course we knew that was gonna come out. Tower reverse though, you are rebuilding from this. It's Scorpio energy, but you guys are rebuilding from some situation where you were just, you either lost control of things that were going on around you or you were dealing with someone who was completely out of control, whether that be your boss, your romantic partner, your parent, whatever. Okay, the world for Aquarius. Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, completions of cycles, like I said, but for those of you that this is a job situation, guess what? You have a new job on the way. It'll be here in like a week, all right? Seriously, you'll be fine. Um, don't worry about that. Or there's going to be other money or funds that come through that help you uh, get through this time period, okay? For others of you, if this is a relationship situation, think about this. You have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. That's, those are, this is a love offer, this, and this is stability and commitment. So for those of you that are still kind of getting out of this really terrible situation, sorry, I didn't mean to put them up there, um, terrible situation where you're still recovering from dealing with someone who was like abusive or something along those lines, you have a real true offer of stability. The Page of, the page of Pentacles is slow, okay? So it might, it might be a little bit of time, but he is solid, he is stable, he is secure in his offer, okay? Seven of Wands reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. All right, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, yet again. Um, but someone could have lost their, their. Uh, she, when, when we see her upright, she's very kind, she's empathetic, she's caring, um, and she's emotionally stable. And when I see her reverse, ten, I tend to think of someone, especially a, a feminine energy, who is very emotionally unstable. So that could be you or the person that you're dealing with, okay? Queen of Pentacles reversed. And for some of you, it's a divorce. You can just see it here with all these queens reversed. Um, let's see. The Page of Wands reverse. Now I want you to, to hear me out. Ooh, for some of you, it was third party. Okay, all right. So hear me out here. So this Page of Wands reverse, you got two pages up right here, okay? And then you got this Page of Wands reverse. Be very leery about what you hear with regard to, because they're all messengers, they all bring communication, but this one, Fire Sign, Aries Leo Sag, or um, someone who's like vehemently pissed, okay? Like mad, like angry. Be careful about rumors, about gossip, about vicious lies being spread about you or to you about someone else. I want you to take everything that you hear, especially if it's like, girl, you will not believe what she did to me, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if it's like that, I want you to be like, okay, and take everything in very subjectively, give yourself time to process it before you react on anything like that because it could be that someone is hurt and they are or they're seeking revenge, okay, and they're speaking from that place, right? Like that's, they're not coming from a healthy place emotionally. So 
be careful. It could be the person you were dealing with that's spreading lies here or gossip or rumors, and you may have to deal with that, Aquarius, but someone be could be coming to you and telling you something that's just not accurate, but they're saying it because they're hurt and they're pissed and they want revenge on someone else, okay? All right. Thank you guys very much. I'm gonna continue this over on Vimeo. Link will be below. We're gonna go over Aquarius love, Aquarius money, and Aquarius general advice and guidance for the entire month of February. And we're gonna do all three of those subjects in depth. I'll do singles and couples separately so everybody has a chance to take a look at their reading. I know some of you guys fall in the in-between point, so if that's you, just watch both of them. Um, again, link to the Etsy shop for readings and spells and products and everything else you could possibly need is down below. Uh, I love you guys very much. Have a beautiful month of February. Happy birthday again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.